Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 4 of my Aston Villa career mode. Last episode, I started the Premier League, obviously. I started really well. Four games, two wins, two losses. Fourth in the table. I don't think we're going to stay there for too long. This episode, I've got transfer deadline day, which I'll show you now. Obviously, it's just like that. And we've got um, we've got 3.6 million, 3.9 million, sorry. So we're looking to bring in one more new sign and but before I get into the episode I just want to say I'm thinking about doing a new series but it's gonna be like a live streaming series so I'll put my Twitch down in the description you write in the comments what you want to see maybe like a road to glory or live career mode or live Call of Duty I don't know whatever game whatever you want live road to division one on head to head or on my team I don't know or some pro clubs you give me some ideas in the comments and I'll do that probably next week maybe we'll start that or sometime soon whenever you want so yeah I just want to say that. Maybe a new series on YouTube as well. So we've got career mode and something else. I don't know. You just tell me what you want to see. Because career mode does get a bit boring after a while. If you're doing the same episode or the same thing. So yeah. That's now out of the way. Let's begin the episode. So yeah. I've been looking around. for When you need like a look at my squad. My left back's not very good. And the bon I don't really want him on my side. He's not very good. So I've been looking around. I've been scout. Uh, not scout. So I've been adding people to my shortlist. Oh no. Not these people. Sorry. These two. So left back's option is Adriano, Janssen and Panda and Ricardo Rodriguez. So I'm going to acquire for all these. See if any of them come in for cheap or even a loan maybe. So yeah, I think pretty sure these are all... Adriano's definitely better than left back I've got already. I'm not sure about the other ones. And also got some left forward, not Nathan Dyer. I've got Patrick Herman. Herman the German. Kevin Campbell, I'm pretty sure he's just signed for him. Oh no, yeah, but I'm pretty sure you'll want loads. I've got Jonathan from Inter. I've also got Suso from Milan. He's obviously from Liverpool. Was at Liverpool. Great young talent. Moi, Moai Gomez. I'm not really sure how to say his name. So about Villarreal, he looks pretty decent. I'm not actually seeing how good these are. And these guys are not for now, I think. But Timo Werner. Oh, oh no. So yeah, we're just going to skip an hour. See what happens. Obviously, it is transfer deadline day. So we'll see if anything comes in. I've got nine messages. 25 million. Okay. 1.8 million. So look at that. 5.5 is a bit too much. 6.5 is a bit too much. 9 million is too much. They're not. He's recently joined. 3 million is decent. So 17 million is too much. Maybe if we return with a loan offer, maybe. We'll join on loan. So we'll put that in for Marcel Janssen from Hamburger. Hamburg, sorry. And we'll also put one in on Herman. If we don't get these, we'll just buy Jonathan or we'll buy um Panda. I think that's his name, I can't remember his name already. So yeah, we're just gonna skip. I'm I i did not we'll actually we'll look on the calendar, see who we play today. Oh yeah, we've got a couple to one cup game against late in Orient first. I'm pretty sure that's on this day as well, so I might have to change the side up a bit to try and um, not get any like injuries or to my major players. See if anything comes in. It's not looking good so far. Oh, I've got some messages there. Transfer for Daniel O'Brien. Yeah, he can go out on loan. To Barnsley for season long loan. Um, rejected and rejected. So I don't want to go out on loan, but we really need to make a new sign -on. So, we're just going to go back to, actually we'll go back to uh, what doing, messages. And we'll see uh, what players, so Panda, Christian Panda, or Jonathan. We'll go Jonathan. See if we get Jonathan for 2.6. That may be quite a good deal. I'm not sure how good he is, but... I just saw him in Milan had definitely decent, more uh, better right mid, sorry, and then Jonathan, he wouldn't have played anywhere, like Shakiri and people like that. So I don't think he would have get gameplay, so we'll go for him. Hopefully he's better than the Bonnie Hall, I'm not sure. Doesn't look good so far, nothing to come in, oh there we go, there's a message. Oh, he's accepted. 50 grand. Okay, 50 grand's quite a lot, but we'll go with it. It's, that's more than half of our wages gone on from that player. There is transfer deadline day, and we definitely need to make new signings. So, and there's only an hour left. Oh, 
Oh god. Last hour, I don't think we got him. I don't think we signed him. I think we ran out of time. Yeah, we didn't sign him, I don't think. Yeah, we failed to sign Jonathan. We ran out of time, but maybe January we'll sign him. We've got Leighton Orient in the cup. Capital One Cup. Obviously, we want to win, but we're obviously going to not play our main squad. Flaz obviously got red cards, so Senderos can come in. Siglio can come out for Lelton. Scoufette can come in for Guzan. Sanchez can come in for Cleverly. Vyman coming for a Bonyahu. Oh no, Benteke. Should we play Benteke? No, we'll rest Benteke. We'll bring um, Gil in for Benteke. Scott Sinclair in for Blassie. We'll play that team. Quite a lot of changes. Obviously, because it is a couple to one cup game. Hopefully, we can win. Away to Leighton Orient. Let's see what happens. Delph. Oh, I didn't change out Delph. The not matter. Or oh, cool, Corey. Right? Or oh, Suzuka. So we're going. Zogby has been booked in the first two minutes. Not a good start. Nothing's happened so far. Sin Sinclair. Scott Sinclair scored a penalty. I think that's on his debut, actually. There it is. His, his debut. We haven't played him yet. Dagnall for Leighton Orient is equalised. I'm pretty sure he's pretty good in real life, actually. A League One striker. There's nothing actually going to happen. Oh, there we go. Jill Gill. Scored, and we won 2-1. I would like to have win one and one more, but a win is a win, and we didn't play our main team. We're obviously going to now put our players back in. Our main players back in. Delph was sent. Siglio, Sender, Fla back in. And Guzan back in. So at least we won. So we're through to the next round of the cup to one cup. So that. So there's a venture over here. Late Norian. Hey boss, I was hoping you might be experimenting with the squad and would give me a chance to play. Oh, I didn't read that before the game started, sorry. <laughs> didn't play him. I don't think I would have played him anyway. We even we nearly lost. Even if we didn't play him. I wonder who we play in the league. I didn't actually check so yeah, who we play. Arsenal. Liverpool are at home. Oh great. Perhaps an upset on oh, and then we got Man City in the cup. So we'll play these two this episode. Yeah, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Oh, international management. Don't want it being national. I think I just ruined the series. Arsenal at home. What team are we going to go with? Yeah, we'll go with that team, I think. Arsenal. I think we can get something here. It's going to be tough. But I think we can. Let's go. Come on. Right, we've kicked off. They've got a, they've got a really strong side. But 15 minutes, Benteke has scored. Get in. Benteke has been amazing this series so far. Half time, 1 0 up. This is great. Baker comes on for Balassia. It's a bit weird. And Cazorla is equalised. 51st minute. For, uh, 20 minutes to go, sorry. Last 10 minutes. Come on. A draw. I take that. That's a great result, that. That is a great result. At home against Arsenal. A point. Now we're at home against Man City. I'm actually going to um, take out Enzo B and bring in Sanchez. Then I'm going to swap cleverly like that. Just so maybe a bit more defensive. It could ruin the squad a bit for changing it. Considering we've just got a really good result. But at home against Man City, I, I don't think we've got any chance. Or hope. But they have just lost. And they also drew to Arsenal. No Aguero for them. They have got Higayun on the bench, which is a bit weird. 25 minutes gone, nothing's happened so far, apart from what Okori got a late injury and Sizek got booked. Jovetic has scored for them, they go 1 0 up. We can still get something, they've got another half. Lowton's come on for Corey. Company's gone on for Democlairs to make their squad even better. 15 minutes left, 10 minutes left, come on. We've lost 1 0, we didn't get thrashed. But I'm disappointed that we've gone out of the um, cup there. English Let's read these messages. Press conference and player injured. Port vale. Broken ankle. Seven weeks of Corey. He's our main centre. One of our main centre backs. Oh, that's not good. Bolton Wanderers two. We'll just skip it to the Chelsea game. I'm actually going <clears> to... 
I'm actually going to end the episode there. Episode 4, we played three games. One in the cup, two in the league, I believe. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to look at the uh, league table. There we go. Oh, we've started the episode in 4th, we've finished in 10th. I know, we played one league game, two cup games, sorry. We've got a draw at, at home against Arsenal, which is a great result. We also lost 1-0 to Man City. We beat Leighton Orient in the cup as well. So yeah, not a bad episode. One win, one draw, one one lo loss, uh, obviously. Next episode, we will be playing... Let me go into my calendar. We'll be playing Chelsea first. Then we'll be playing Man City and Everton. So another hard episode. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And also, write in the comments what you want me to live stream or whatever new series you want to see on my channel. And yeah, I'll make sure to make them. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.